the, the uh, you talk about the opponents that uh, Rebels have. Yeah, yeah, Rebel has not had easy opponents. Yeah. He He's has not, and this is going to be his tallest, one of his tallest tasks. Well, yeah. Definitely is in our ranks of the number two, because Jack Massacre, obviously, is as tall as Jack Massacre is seven foot. Now, last year, we weighed Manchild in, or somebody weighed Manchild. I didn't weigh him in, but somebody did at about 380 pounds. I have been told now, and as you heard, he's toning over 400 pounds of weight. He's gotten even bigger. And I, I don't even know what, what the freak is feeding him. Pizza. I <laughs> probably or whatever he wants. I have on I have on good authority. It's pizza. Well, that's probably a good guess. And deep fried Oreos. It's interesting here. We've got one time AO and manager uh -oh. in former one time manager original AO and Curtis Kellen back out here, and then you got Freak on the other side. The managerial styles of these two men complete oh, opposites. Here and we go, I, man. I kind of. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead, X. I was just saying, Manchild is just working over Rebel in the corner, and now he's going. Oh God! That's not working over. That's just literally destroying uh, the uh, man. Yeah. Now that go ahead, like, Drew. But some of those freight trains that will go by behind us. Yeah, he's going to make short work. Watch this, watch this. Oh, I'm watching. Oh, jeez. Oh, That's it. Mitch and he's happy. He's happy. Mitch is really happy when he's beating the crap. Now, answer, does, have, Mike Edwards, you're the encyclopedia here. You're the one who goes behind the scenes and gets all the dirt. What do you know about this satanic Bible that Otis Hellenbach is walking around with? To be honest with you, I don't know other than what I've seen out here. He's been very uh, secretive about it. And very much keeping it to himself. I wave it, train. It's almost yeah. Stop, stop waving, and they'll stop honking. It's almost like uh, he just doesn't want anybody to know what's going on inside of his circle. Otis usually very friendly, very open, and willing to talk about what's going on with his clients, but not lately. You mean to tell me cousin Otis is carrying a copy of the Satanic Bible? It's not cousin Otis anymore. He's just Otis P. Hellenbach. Well, I'm and, old school. And Rebel, so he's got a copy of the Satanic Bible. Yeah, I, I hope no Jehovah's Witnesses come to his room. <laughs> That's going to be a rude awakening for And now he's got Manchild trying to fight for the seated position. Rebel taking down the big man. Off with a big boot to the side of the head. And Rebel even looks like he's kind of undertaken some changes ever since this, uh, Take your time. this started. Well, he has improved like month by month. I've seen many improvements in this Rebel Southwell. Here's a question, though. Last time we saw Casey Dillon, she was not out uh, by Rebel, by, by Rebel himself. And the man child of the freak show saved her. Do you think she might show a little favoritism in this match? I'll be honest with you, that's always a possibility, Drew. Uh, kind of has crossed my mind once or twice. I just didn't want to see it because I'm afraid that uh, maybe now, that fade a little bit. Not that I would accuse her of anything like that. A little bit of an old school road walking right here. Oh, bottom into the Google. Schools out. Choke Bring slam everybody. And DDT reversed into a DDT. How did he do that to the big guy? He, he's just a wherewithal. Very impressive by Rebel. Rebel again. I agree with you. He is a big leap and bound. That was very impressive. I didn't, I didn't Under, see it. Under Otis' is he didn't do the leap. And now Rebel, I, I can't believe that he's gotten this far with the man shot. I thought this was going to be a short matchup. And he's setting up the man shot. It's almost like he's begging the man to get back up. They duck the big boot out of the big boot. Takes down Rebel. Nope. Well, he's helping Rebel back up. It, it won't seem to be a totally one-sided contest. I mean, Rebel has shown that he can handle himself, but right now he has taken the brunt of punishment from this bohemian called Manchild. Here goes Manchild. Hitting ahead of steam. Into the corner. Oh, oh and Rebel moves. Manchild trying to play a little bit, be a little too clever with his opponent. And that's why they tell you, you don't play with your food. He's going to have to get out of that corner. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Did he just shove Casey Dillon? Well, he did that at the oh. tapings last month. Oh, this isn't happy. I think, man, I think he's trying to slide it in for the Manchild. Oh, God! He wants to the head like a cut shot going on. Well, no, she's not. Oh, Whoa. no. Oh, oh, she is. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. You are the final Don't do something. Finish He's going to be barred. He'll be kicked out of AON. And now he's working out on the man's child here. This, what we were saying about this evil side of Rebel and Otis. 
Well, can we get up another official out here? I know. Where's the count? Oh, oh, oh he, he hits the chair. He hits the chair. He hits the chair. He blocked him with that clothesline. Otis is disgusted right now. This whole thing is kind of going on between Casey and Rebel. And Rebel, and now it helps out Rebel. Got him up. Uh oh. Oh! That's a nice Sit out. power slam. Very easy to meet the Goku driver. Oh, it's got Marcus Cage enjoying it. No, he's well, Marcus Cage enjoys Dryerlin, for God's sake. This, mean, is, this is true. You can't get a read on the guy. Uh-oh, he may be setting up. Otis is not happy. Edge out, ready to choke slam. Rebel Southwell through is, the ring. Going to choke him to hell if he gets his way. Edge out's got him Google. Casey Dillon coming too. Casey Dillon back up now. Wait a minute, what is Manchow telling? Wait a minute, he's telling Oh, wait a minute! He can't do this! Casey Dillon! He can't do this! She's an official! She just chose to win trouble. She's got to go! One, two, three, three! If this was the NHL, you would give an assist to Casey Dillon. What was that? Bitch! Manchow won, but at what cost here? Now, I don't, Casey Dillon with the night night choke slam. I don't agree with Rebel Southwell's tactics and hitting Manchow out of the chair, but Casey Dillon is an official. You can't do that. You can't. You have to be unbiased. I don't understand what's going on there. You know, yeah, what? Last time she left with the free show. Well, where's, wait a second. Where's Cass Edison? Wait a minute. Stick his nose into this. Wait a minute. This is the forehead of Casey Dillon. Let's get out of that. What about the forehead? Wait. There's a mark. There's a, there's a black mark on the forehead of Casey Dillon. When she was the our, our camera's not picking it up. I don't know. When, when she was the Princess of Darkness. She used something like that in her face. What's going on with? Did Rebel wake something up to Casey that maybe we're not seeing?